understanding non-small cell lung cancer treatment when you have a KRAS mutation. A KRAS mutation is a change in the KRAS gene, which is involved in cell growth. Mutations in this gene signal cells to grow out of control. This is linked to several types of cancer, including colorectal, pancreatic, and non-small cell lung cancer, or NSCLC, where it is the most common cancer-causing mutation. When your lung cancer is diagnosed, your doctor should order biomarker testing. If you are not certain this has been done, ask your doctor. Biomarker testing is also called molecular testing. It looks at a sample of blood or tumor tissue for mutations in your genes and other information about the cancer. Biomarker testing can find the KRAS mutation. About one quarter of all people with cancer have a KRAS mutation, and almost one third of people with non-small cell lung cancer do. Most of these people have adenocarcinoma of the lung. There are several types of KRAS mutation, but the KRAS G12C mutation is the most common. About half of people with a KRAS mutation have this one. In non-small cell lung cancer, KRAS mutations are more common in people whose families originally came from Western Europe. They are also more common in people who smoke now, used to smoke, or were exposed to a mineral called asbestos. If you have a KRAS mutation, some non-small cell lung cancer treatments will not work, but others will. This is one reason biomarker testing for mutations is so important. The first treatment for non-small cell lung cancer with a KRAS mutation may include surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy. The exact treatment depends on the stage of cancer, your general health, and other factors. The drugs adagrasib and sotorasib are called KRAS inhibitors. They directly target the G12C mutation that many people with KRAS mutations have. Both drugs are used to treat non-small cell lung cancer at later stages to help people with a KRAS G12C mutation live longer. Adagrasib is a KRAS inhibitor that you take as a pill twice a day. It works by preventing tumor cells from growing in people with the KRAS G12C mutation. This can shrink tumors. Adagrasib is for people whose cancer has spread and who have taken at least one other drug to treat non-small cell lung cancer. Sotorasib is another KRAS inhibitor. You take this as a pill once a day. It can shrink tumors like adagrasib. Sotorasib may be for you if you have a KRAS G12C mutation, your cancer has spread, and you have taken at least one other drug to treat non-small cell lung cancer. So far, the KRAS inhibitors do not cure non-small cell lung cancer, but these drugs can slow or stop tumor growth, at least temporarily. This allows people with KRAS mutations and non-small cell lung cancer to live longer and better lives. Common side effects of adagrasib include nausea, diarrhea, and vomiting. More common side effects of taking sotorasib can include nausea, diarrhea, and muscle and bone pain. Some people stop taking these drugs because of side effects, but not all do. Researchers still have many questions about treating non-small cell lung cancer in people with KRAS mutations. These include using KRAS inhibitors earlier in lung cancer treatment, combining these drugs with other treatments, and reducing side effects. Clinical trials are an important way to learn if new treatments are effective in people with a disease like non-small cell lung cancer. If you have non-small cell lung cancer with a KRAS mutation, ask your doctor about clinical trials. It is important to do this even before you start treatment, as some trials are only available to people who have not had certain treatments.